Does giving blood bother you? Uh, I've never given blood. Even for like blood work on a physical? Oh, I don't yeah. mean like going and donating, which I've done that too. Uh, I but I mean like when, they ha when you have to go get blood work done just because you're getting an annual physical. I think it used to. I don't know if it does anymore. Remember the last time it was? Mine has been a long time since I went to the doctor. Oh. <laughs> but I don't, because I used to be like, I can't get blood. I'm afraid of needles. I don't know if I'm, I care anymore. Oh. <laughs> I just, I should, because I have the rare, I have the universal blood. You're the universal donor? Yeah. I have I, whatever, O, whatever it is. You, uh, what a, if, what everyone can donate to everyone. <laughs> that's a negative. No, that's O negative. Yeah, I think it's an O one. You can give to everybody, but you can yeah, only get O. Yeah, yeah, you're o, I'm O positive. Yeah. Yeah, I can, I have a broader, you have the broader scope. You can give yeah. to everybody, but you can only get. Yeah, yeah, I can only take it. So you're O negative, and you don't even know the last time you gave blood? I, I've never given blood. Ever? No. Really? Yeah, I used to be scared of needles. You're O negative. I know. I'm very selfish. <laughs> 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 hey, welcome back to our stupid director. <laughs> I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. You follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and watch these content. Thanks for the Patreon. Also, we're stupid. I think I would now if like people needed it. I would. Sure. I used to be like. I did you? Do I still don't like needles, but I don't think I'm as scared as I, I used to think I was. Oh. And so I, I just matured. Probably. How old were you during 9/11? Oh, I was in fourth grade. Okay, yeah, so that was because <laughs> it was a, everybody gay yeah, during 9/11. Yeah. But I, I mentioned that because I went, I did just being a good steward of my health, and I'm healthy, thank you, uh, God. Damn it. Uh, that I went and got uh, blood drawn, and we just I'm always interested because it's a broad scope of yeah. people that are uh, something like Ashley. It's a huge, huge phobia to overcome when they go, it makes her cry. Yeah. Because it scares her so much. Today we're we'll actually doing something, it's called, say that. Bunga Empire. At, uh, Warrior Bunga. Read this. I just felt like it should be that. Bangra is a folk Punjabi dance. It was mainly done by Punjabi farmers during the harvesting season. It was mainly performed while farmers did agricultural chores. As they did each farming activity, they perform Bangra moves on the spot. I freaking love that. Life's a musical. This allowed them to finish their job in a pleasurable way. That's magnificent. It's traditionally performed on the beats of a dole, double-headed drum, struck with a heavy beater on one end and with a lighter stick on the other. It has become integrated into popular Asian culture after being mixed with hip hop, house, and reggae styles of music. Certain bhangra moves have been adapted and changed over time, but at its core remains a sense of cultural identity and tradition. This video of Bhangra Empire, a competitive dance troupe performing at Warrior Bhangra 2014. They have performed at a range of venues from the White House to AGT. Oh, cool. Super cool. Looking forward I to it. I freaking love that the part of the culture is we're just going to bust into dance so that we're happy while we're working. That should happen at every workplace. Ladies and gentlemen. I wasn't too far off. Imagine 
Punjabi people do all the time. Yep. <laughs> it doesn't surprise me that the Punjabis would have dance in the middle of work. Oh, no. And the party people. Dance and drink. Yep. Jump rope? Nice synchronicity.
really cool visually. They've got to be tired. Ah. <laughs> That's like, it's just, it, it looks so much, it's exactly what I expected from the Punjabi people. Yeah. They just seem like a fun, loving, always ready to party style people. Yes. So this style of dance just suits them, I think. Absolutely. I mean, when you have a, a culture that's like, you know what, we're going to make work more fun, and at certain mm -hmm. points, we're just going to bust into song and dance, because that's the way life's supposed to be. And the energy output, it's so easy to not give credit to something like that because they make it look so easy yeah. and, and effortless. The, the, um, the cardio health that those guys are in and the energy output because they didn't, they didn't slack yeah. at all. And whoever did the choreography, man, the, the formations, everything was so energized. They were bouncing and they, they all flowed as like one whole. They were great. Just that was so top fun. notch fun. I'd love to see more of these. Yes, uh, absolutely. Yeah, so much fun. So let us know what other ones are. If any of this is muted, uh, I think you know why. <laughs> yeah, if it's all chopped up, there's nothing wrong with your sound. <laughs> it's, I, they used a bunch of... Nature of the Beast. They used a, a bunch of Western songs from this and I was like, oops! Yeah. <laughs> those, get, those get copyrighted. Like, like that. that. So who knows? I hope not. But uh, man, that was so much fun. Let us know more of this style of uh, dance that we should react to uh, down below. <laughs> Look, <laughs> <laughs>